Hi guys, today I've got some honey and I've got this cute little bee, which is not actually a bee, it's a wasp, it's the Furby F90 that Gerbest sent me for a review, so thank you Gerbest for doing that. Let's open the box and see everything we've got it inside. So this is everything we're getting inside. First of all, we're getting the wasp. The battery is already attached on the bottom of this micro quadcopter. We're getting this USB charger. It charges the 2S battery via the balance charger. One set of spur propellers. And we're getting this instruction manual. Tells you a little bit about the quadcopter, how to charge it and the configuration on clean flight. What makes this uh, quadcopter uh, unique? First of all, you can see it's, uh, its shape. So it's shaped like a wasp. You have these little antennas on top. Actually, these are not, this is just for decoration. These are not antennas or something like that. And it also runs on a 2S battery. This is 400 milliampere hour 2S battery. The connection for the battery it is a JSD connector, and the battery, the sorry, the VTX is 25 milliwatts, so it's suitable to fly indoors. And if you can want to fly it outdoors without a lot of wind, you can do that as well. But you can get, you cannot get too far because probably it won't. Uh, the video quality will be probably very bad after about 100 meter or so. I'm gonna test outside and see how it will perform. Let's pop the hood up and see. What we are, what we have under this canopy. On the bottom, you have these four screws that you have to remove, you know, to reveal what's inside the canopy. Actually, you have another screw that you have to to remove. It's on the back, and now it's off. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got this F3 Evo flight controller. You can see that each motor is not soldered to the this flight controller, so you can change it pretty easily, just plug and play, so you don't have to, to worry about soldering. You have this little buzzer here, which is pretty useful, because if you're gonna lose the quadcopter somewhere on the grass, and you can find it, so it's a pretty nice thing to have. Over here, this is the USB port. It's a bit hard to access the USB port when because you have this uh, uh, prop guards but it's not that bad and without a little bit with a little bit of effort you will be able to do it and here you have the DSM uh, receiver you can also buy it with an FR Sky receiver that will be compatible with your Taranis for example if you want you can also replace this a uh, a receiver with with an FR Sky receiver such as this one which has SBUS and then you just take this one off. You have to solder these three wires and you will be good to go. The camera is glued to this uh, carbon fiber frame. By the way, it's 1.5 millimeters, the thickness of this frame. And the camera is soldered, is sorry, is glued so you cannot change the angle of the camera. The all-in-one camera is FX805T version one. And this is the diagram of how the channels look like. So on the right is the band, so it's F, E, A, R, and B. And then you have all the, the channel LED. And this is how you set it up. Changing the channel is done by pressing this button, which is not accessible when the canopy is on. So it's a little bit, little bit on the downside, but probably you're flying with one favorite bang, one or two, so it's not the end of the world. So we'll have to open the canopy and just select the channel with on this camera. <clears throat> Long pressing this button switches between the bands and short press switches between all the channels. Let's put back the uh, canopy and see what is the total weight of this little drone. So the total weight of the quadcopter, including the battery, is 67 and a half grams. So it's pretty light, but it's much bigger than comparing this like tiny whoop uh, quadcopter. So it's much big, it's much bigger and also uh, heavier. But you have to remember this one is using a 2S batteries, 
and I'm pretty sure it will give you plenty of power. And one more thing I would like to show you that the, the VTX uh, antenna is in this form, so it's not a cloverleaf antenna. And actually, I think that this is a good idea because these antennas, anyhow, this is a 25 milliwatt uh, transmitter. It won't give you a very long range, and the this form of antenna uh, improve, improves the durability of this antenna, and you probably won't have any problem. Whereas these antennas are pretty prone to get uh, bent or twisted. So I think Furby made a wise choice, and. To, they put this form of antenna with this wasp watt popper. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go for an indoor test, flight test, and an outdoor flight test. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would like to thank Airbus again for sending me this quadcopter for a review.